So this is my quick introduction to using Gapminder. So Gapminder is this wonderful tool that helps me explore some statistics. What I can do firstly is I've chosen a statistic on the y-axis called life expectancy and I've, I'm going to keep this one down the same. And what I can do then is choose some countries which I think might highlight the difference between developed and less developed countries. So I'm going to put my favourite country in the world, New Zealand, and then find my other favourite country called Kenya. What you can see straight away is they have different colours. So I can highlight Kenya, and that shows me that the life expectancy in Kenya in 2015 was 67, and the income per person was 2,898. So this is your descriptive skills, and at the top, I can hover over New Zealand and I can see the same statistics for that country and that tells me some of the differences. I can also click full screen so I can see a bit more clearly what I'm trying to do. I can then pull my slider back through time and think about, well, if I press play, how do these countries change over time? You might notice that there's not many statistics for Kenya in the early 1900s, which that makes sense. And then you can see the changing patterns over time and what, how it might increase or decrease or change. And you can talk about some of the differences between the countries. So once this is finished, and I've had a bit of a think about it, I can change the labels like that. But then I can take my screen shift out of command, shift four. And on my desktop, there's this thing. It's called a JPEG. So if I just open this, it opens in a program called Preview, which you might know. What Preview can do is I can click at the top on the little briefcase. You see the symbol up? These are called the markup tools. Then I get this set of tools here. So what I can do is I can maybe make this a little bit bigger so I can see my whole picture. That's perfect. And then I can start to annotate. So I can click on my text box. This is my text here. Click on the T for text, and this gives me a text box, which is absolutely tiny. So I need to change my font, make it a bit bigger. Maybe I want to make my colours match. So maybe I want to have red to talk about New Zealand. So then I can label it as New Zealand. And then I can start to describe some of the things that I can see. So I might write a sentence here. And the more that I write, I can adjust this to make sure that my text all fits in. I can get more fancy and I can start to annotate things too. So I can click up on the top, I can make an arrow, and I could point to particular things that I wanted to highlight. And I could think about the colours so that it was really clear what I was trying to do. And I've got other options here as well if I wanted to. So once I've finished, I need to press Command Save. And that saved my thing. I can also go at the top and rename the file on my desktop and save it into my Google Drive and then give to my teacher.